Hey there, nice to see you and welcome to the second devlog of my small pixel art RPG game. I'm Yannick and this is Isoprod. You might remember that I want to create an RPG game where the character carries a lot of weapons. A lot of weapons. Well, I only managed to create one weapon this week and actually it's not even a weapon. Well, the shield can be used to block the enemies and to avoid getting damage. Later in the game I will also add shooting enemies, so having a shield could be pretty beneficial so you don't get hit by any bullet. My goal for the character was to make uh, the avatar look different every time you start the game. So I wanted to have a randomized character. As a basis I used this little program by Pixel Dust Master. You can find the link in the description. And what this program does is basically creating random 16-bit characters every time you randomize it. Or you can even manipulate the randomized characters. If you download this you will get a sprite sheet. So this is his sprite sheet for this simple character. We have different sprites if the character is just standing still or sprites for the idle animation or the sprites for the running animation and here in the end we also have the sprite set if the character is jumping but actually I only want to use the idle animation and the running animation. My goal now was to make this character customizable or better randomizable so you have a new character every time you play. As you can see this character is built up of pretty simple different parts. We have, have the hair part here, we have a body part with the eyes, we have a part with some clothing and in the end we have the legs. And in the animation actually only the legs are animated because the rest of the body is just moving slightly up and down. So I don't have to change anything there. And this is the result of my randomizing of this character. Every single body part gets a different color. Well, in this case, every time you click a button, but in the actual game, it will be every time you start the game or if you die, every new time that you're gonna restart the game. Well, the results are kind of funny because <laughs> there are some characters that look quite good and other color combination that just look pretty awkward. In the future I also want to randomize some body parts like the hair or the eyes or the arms. Well, he doesn't have arms, but you know what I mean. So the character will look even more different every time you change his appearance. One other thing that I added this week was the collecting of weapons. Because the player shall be able to find all different kind of weapons on the map and then of course also have to collect them, so this got to be implemented. In the last week's video I promised you that I will introduce you this week my special, super nice, awesome weapon game mechanic that you didn't know before and here it is. Drum roll please. The weapons are switching automatically. Well, yeah, that's maybe not as awesome as you might have expected, but I think this will lead to a pretty interesting behavior. Every weapon has an amount of usage time, so like the stick will be able to be used four times and after these four times the next weapon will automatically be activated while the stick will be deactivated. I think this could be pretty interesting if you have many different weapons with different abilities because you have to time your different weapons perfectly to be able to fight your enemy correctly. I'm also thinking about adding weapons for both hands. So you will always have two active weapons, one for the left mouse button and one for the right mouse button. I'm not quite sure yet if I really will do that because it kind of looks awkward and might be a little bit too confusing, but I think this would be pretty funny. So in this case the player could have six weapons in his hand and, and this could be pretty awesome if they are all very different and with different playing styles. And you always have to be aware of which weapon is in which hand and how can I use them correctly to win the current battle. Since this mechanic is working now, I will spend the next week creating a ton of new weapons so the player have a large variety. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this devlog and don't want to miss any upcoming devlog to see how this game develops in the future, 
consider subscribing, you can do this simply by clicking on the button right here. Well, I hope it's there. And if you already missed the last week's video, you can immediately get to this with just one click right there. Perfect. If you have any ideas or feedback for this game, just write it down in the comments and I would love to read it. So stay tuned.